kiss, take it back if I look inside your brain. I would find lots of things close. So the first essential for getting a guinea pig is the guinea pig cage, and it should be big enough for at least two guinea pigs so that they have enough room to hide and run and everything like that. And so I have two Midwest guinea pig cages attached together. The second thing that you want is a water bottle with at least a liter of water, so it lasts enough for at least half a week and should be enough for two guinea pigs to drink out of. Then you want two feeders, one for hay and one for pellets, so that they can have an easy place to go for storage of food and to go eat. Next you want two huts if you have two guinea pigs so that they have a place to hide and usually it's better to have something that they can chew on so they can chew their teeth down. The next essentials are Timothy hay and Timothy hay pellets with vitamin C so that the hay should be available to them at all times and then the pellets they should get at least like a third or two thirds of a cup a day. I use this brand of pellets for my guinea pigs and it's been pretty good. And then you can also get that brand for the hay, mine is a no-name brand. Okay, so when you're picking up your guinea pigs, mine hate being picked up, so usually I try to corner them off and then I close this ramp so that they don't leave. And then basically you want to support their butt and you want to grab them from under. You grab them from under and pick them up by supporting their butt like so. Always make sure to support their butt. Hush now, let's go quiet to the park where it first started. Okay, so we have a couple more small essentials. So first, there is the essentials for nail clipping because guinea pig nails should be clipped about every two weeks, just whenever they're getting long. So these are the nail clippers specifically for guinea pigs. As you can see, it will easily fit around their nail shape. So as you can see with Dale's nails, you just want to cut off, you want to cut off the white, like most of the white part and get before the quick. And the quick is the red part of their toe and you don't want to cut up to there because then they will start to bleed. However, if they do start to bleed, you should buy some of this styptic powder because you can put it on their toe and it'll make them stop bleeding because accidents happen so it's very important to have this so you can take care of any accident. Then another essential is these grooming wipes and shampoo because I give my guinea pigs a bath around twice to once a year because they do start to smell really bad. So I'll give them a bath, but in between then I use these grooming wipes where you just wipe them down with it and it's less hard on their fur than a bath, but it still makes them smell better. Then a final essential is these mineral chews because it helps them wear down their teeth a bit so it's not as sharp and it's very important for them to do so. Thank you so much for watching. If I forgot any essentials, please leave them in the comments. And please leave a suggestion for next video. I can do how to bathe your guinea pig, a cage tour, I could do another tutorial, just let me know in the comments. Okay, thanks.